Hello again. So, um, this is actually my second video recorded tonight, but, um, I'm not going to have very much time over the next few days, and I have been dying to record this video. Um, so I wanted to show you guys my travel altar, which may end up changing, um, at some point, uh, just like the rest of my sacred spaces, big and small. They're constantly in flux because I am constantly in flux. So this one <clears throat> is in a tin, the Alice in Wonderland tarot, or the Wonderland tarot tin. Um, I got the Wonderland tarot in a tin uh, because I love Alice in Wonderland, so I was really excited uh, when I found this deck, but I don't actually connect with it very well. So the cards themselves I'm using in my Book of Songs as illustrations, um, and the tin I decided to turn into a travel altar. And I decided not to do anything to the outside of it because I just love it so much. I got the white hair on the front, Queen of Hearts, a little blurb about the deck, <laughs> and the Cheshire Cat, uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I kind of spaced on what their names were for a second. <laughs> and then on the back is the Magician card, which is the Mad Hatter. So, um, but as you can see, I did paint the inside of it. So, let's go ahead and open this up. So, I painted the lid. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but there's multiple shades of green and brown in here. I wanted a sort of earthy look on it. And I will actually set this up so you guys can see exactly how I, like, how I would set this up. Um, for me, this is a prayer altar, not a, not a working altar. So, first thing that is in here is a little red bag that is full of tobacco and crystals for offerings. So, like, if I... Uh, I'm walking on a trail or I just need to get out of my workspace for a little while like when I'm at work um, I can go over to a tree or sit in a patch of grass and do a calming prayer and leave a little gift for nature in gratitude of of nature helping calm me down <laughs> and and help me recenter and ground so the next thing is my little bag of crystals and I've got quite a few in here um, all of which are very sacred to me so I have an obsidian arrowhead for whoops for protection, for greatest protection. That was actually a like craft supply that I had left over and just loved it, so I decided to use it. Piece of uh, Himalayan sea salt, which is very good for kind of clearing the air. And the ever important fluorite. I don't know how well you guys can see that. There we go. Beautiful colors in this one. But fluorite for balance. And of course, I have to have a piece of turquoise in here to honor uh, my path and my gods. <laughs> honor spirit and great spirit. And a ra 
raw chunk of smoky quartz, which is my totem crystal. Good for grounding as well as creativity. Both things that I really do need in my life. And I have a stone that I pulled from the mighty Mississippi River so that I always have a piece of home with me wherever I go. And then I have a piece of blue kyanite in here to kind of keep the rest of my crystals clean. And it just has such a positive energy. I love this crystal. And then last but not least, <clears throat> how adorable is this little guy? Little teeny tiny quartz point cluster. Quartz cluster. It's it's so tiny. It's so cute. But it just kind of amplifies the energies of the other crystals I have. Um, as well as helping to provide me with clarity and illumination. So the next thing that I have in here, of course, I have to have some form of divination with me at all times. My black and white agate. And this was actually the very first pendulum that I ever got. And I, it's still pretty much the only one that I ever use. Like I have a clear quartz one, I have an amethyst one, I have a lapis lazuli pendulum, but really this is pretty much the only one that I ever use. Um, and I just, I love it. There's white right on the, on the tip of it. Just, uh, I love this one. Absolutely gorgeous. So then I have gifts from nature, a garter snake skin, um, because snake is one of my uh, totem animals and spirit guides, and a sparrow feather. Sparrow is actually my main totem, um, and my greatest guide in terms of pretty much everything. Um, so being able to carry Sparrow with me was very, very, very important to me. And then I have a set of prayer beads that I made with the four sacred colors. So <clears throat> the way that I designed this, so I've got green for earth, turquoise for sky, and then of course... Yellow is east, red is south, black is west, and white is north. So I actually was holding that backwards. But take a breath, deep breath in, count three blessings. Take a deep breath in, count three blessings. Take a breath in. Count three blessings. Take a breath in. Count three blessings. And one final cleansing deep breath. Exhale. That's how I designed these beads to be used. <laughs> very simple and very clearly handmade, but effective. So, <clears throat> next thing. We're getting down to the end of this here. I have some matches. And these I stuck on here with some of that like poster tack. Because <laughs> I'm a fan of that stuff. Because I didn't want to put the whole matchbook, matchbox in here. Um, it didn't fit very well. So. But I have those for my candle. Which... Um, I put, when I put a new candle in here, I put some of this stuff on the wick, sage essential oil. So even though I can't carry sage with me in this box, in this travel altar, I, I get the same uh, 
cleansing effects because the the scent is just everywhere like I open the box and I get a big big old whiff of, of sage so when I burn the candle it distributes around wherever I'm working too so then the last things that I have in here are images of my deities and I just printed them out and laminated them so that they couldn't be damaged. <laughs> so Coco Pelli and Kuan Yin. And the way that this altar is meant to be set up, yes, I put their symbols in the back and I painted the back blue for sky. So I've got earth and sky. So, my crystals will sit in here. Like so. <laughs> if I can get it. And then my god and goddess stuck between the two pieces, between the top and the bottom of the, the box. Leave my obsidian out here with my prayer beads. And then light the candle and get to work. So, there you have it. My travel altar meant for prayer and meditation work only. Um, I am not a huge spellcaster. Um, to be honest, in the six years that I have been walking the pagan path, I have only cast maybe four spells in all that time, like actual spells. Um, I do a lot of prayer work. I do a lot of meditation work. Um, and for me, that's, that's just who I am. That is how I honor myself and my gods. That is how I honor the earth and the sky and how I honor all, all beings around me. So I hope you guys enjoyed and are feeling inspired to work on your own travel altars. Good luck, namaste, and blessed be.